welcome to my channel. I am so happy you're here. So for today's video, I want to do my wrap up on the spring equinox for the Aurelium Academy Magical Readathon. As I said before, I was going for Crafts Mage, Year 3, and The Healer. I decided not to do two careers only because I looked at the Autumn Equinox and it was going to be like a lot of books, maybe like 12 or something, and I didn't really want to like put that much pressure on myself. So I ended up completing my Crafts Mage Year 3. What am I? I don't remember what I am. I will leave linked below the video of my TBR. So the first book, so the first book I read was Archers by Lara Hughes. This is book two in the Arrows series. And this was for the one where you inscription, where you write down three titles and then you pick one randomly. And I got this one. I gave this a 4.5 stars. I just had a fun time physically reading this. It really had an interesting turn of a myth mythological side. And I was quite impressed on how much I was like turning the pages to continue it. Um, but it was fun. Yeah, it was a good, good fun book. I know the author and she says that it's not one of her best, but I tend to like, like young adult simple books. So it was enjoyable. Next for two prompts, I read Flight by Angie, by Angie Sage. This was the prompt that you had to have a lock on the cover and it was artificery, artificery, and a lock on the cover, and there was a lock right there. I thought I wasn't gonna enjoy this as much as I did, but since I took the time reading it, I did some audio, some physical, and I just really enjoyed it. I gave it a four out of five stars. Oh my goodness, I just found a total mistake. <laughs> I put my review, how did that happen? I put my review of The Archers, on flight which okay I must have been reviewing it like at the same time I don't know I don't know what happened but wow that's hilarious okay back to scheduled programming um I gave four out of five stars on flight it's like a Harry Potter-esque story where there's like a chosen one and Book two was fun, full of adventure and kidnapping, and it was just a fun, fun time. And I really enjoyed it, so I do want to continue with the series. Which I was gonna get rid of this, so I'm really happy I didn't. Oh, so I read that for the Artificery because of the lock, and I also read it for the dragon. Because I thought a dragon would show up, and it did. <laughs> So that counts with my Jack Dragon Rider. Next, I read Cherish by Tracy Wolf. This is book six in the series. I'm just obsessed with these, but I gave this one a 4.5 stars because it started to affect my depression toward the end. There were just very sad things that were happening, and I'm usually okay with sad things, but they just made them so extreme. Like, even if someone dies, I'm, like, kind of a robot. But, like, they just made the idea of, like, life sad. So, <laughs> I um, gave it 4.5 stars instead of 5, but it was still good. I still had a fun time reading. And that was also for my Dragon Rider certificate. Since we're already in the Dragon Rider section, I'm just going to say for the third thing I had to watch... It said, watch a movie for w with a dragon. So with my friend, we watched Damsel on Netflix. Oh my goodness. That is like so good. It's intense. Like you're at the edge of your seat 24-7. Like it's so good. It wasn't scary or anything. Um, good like moral of the story I feel like and there were times that I was yelling at the TV and my friend was yelling at the TV and we just had a really fun time watching it um so yeah but I feel like anyone would watch it I want my husband to watch it with me I don't think it's like a chick flick or anything but 
It was good. So we have Cherish, Flight, and Damsel for my dragon rider. I will be a dragon rider at the Autumn Equinox. If I finish those, then I get to be a dragon rider. Here's my husband's gold dragon, which is very precious to him, so I have to be very careful with it. And the last book I read, which I think it became the last because I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> I read It's All Your Fault by Paul Rudnick. Okay, so this book is, is, it's the word when you make things. <sighs> oh, this book is marketed as funny, laugh out loud, caution, do not read in public. Um, just funny. Meg Kavat says it's funny, multiple copies she wanted, like, it's just supposed to be funny. So I picked it up thinking I just wanted like a fun read, like a laughing read, like a maybe a chick lit type of thing where it's just really funny, right? I, <laughs> I give this a three out of five stars, which is one of my lowest ratings. I think I got halfway through and my trigger warning showed up, which was cancer. And I don't know, spoiler, I don't think you should read it. There was a girl with cancer and they just saw life in such a reckless way and just really bad morals and just like the other girl who was like Christian and like trying to be like a good person she ended up becoming like not <laughs> because of these like morally peer pressure and I feel like if I would have read that in high school I would have been like pro well I was way mature with everyone else in high school but <laughs> I was, like I just feel like it just is not a good book for anyone to read because yeah and then not to mention it said nothing about cancer and half the book had cancer so I ended up having my husband skim through the pages which is not his fault, but he had me read again and he didn't know that like he was not just looking for the word cancer. You have to look for like chemotherapy, treatment, hospital, dying, you know, TPN, intervening, I IVs, blood, blood draws, just like all these different things which he didn't know to look for. So he handed it back to me and it was like right away. And I was like, I just can't read. I'm counting it as finished because I did skim it and he skimmed it and I just was like shoo, 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 skimming it. But I just did not enjoy this book at all. So definitely bringing that to my little library, which I am happy to announce. I am getting a little library at my friend's house and we're gonna film the whole experience. And I'm really excited about that. So that's going in the little library. So yeah, that was all four of my, all four of my books for my Aurelia Magical Readathon. Leave a, your favorite dragon movie down below. I would love to know because now I want to watch more dragon. I've never even seen Aragon, so I saw How I Train Your Dragon like when I started to read Fourth Wing. Yeah, so I read four books for the Magical Aurelia Academy Readathon. This is hosted by Book Roast here on Booktube, and I had a super fun time for the Spring Equinox, and I'm very excited for the Autumn Equinox, which is in August, and I think that's all. Remember, you can find magic wherever you look. Sit back and relax. All you need is a book. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!